Well, hello, day, everybody. I gotta be a little bit quiet today because I'm in the dorms. I am the girl that is previously known as the creature creator. Almost forgot my name. That's right. I'm sure you did it. And I'm sure some of you are wondering about that. So I decided to make this video and tell all my subscribers what's going on. Unfortunately, this is a tale of woe. If you keep up with my channel, if you're not keeping up with my channel, you should probably subscribe. Just go ahead and I'll, I'll give you just a minute to just wait. This side. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now that you got that taken care of, we can get on with the story. So, get, let's get serious. I started this channel as a <laughs> fursuit making channel. You may have noticed a slight shift in the focus of my videos from fursuit videos to gaming. We lost a lot of good people. <laughs> we lost a lot of good people. What, are they dead? The channel lost a lot of subscribers because of that, and I completely understand. So here's the story. I had been making fursuits for probably about a year and a half. I got a mentor, actually, who was helping me leaps and bounds. Together, we had figured out a brand new way of making masks. Like, groundbreaking new ways. Like, one small step for the creature creator. One large giant leap for furry kind. So we started on this project and I was responsible for the sculpting and the mold making part. And if you don't know how mask making works, you sculpt a sculpt, sculpt a, you get clay and you sculpt a sculpture of like the face that you want to put over your own face. I had just done the latex part, the, the, the detail mold, and then on top of that you put a, um, a plaster mold or what I like to call the mother mold and then you take of that, take of that, take, take of that uh, clay. You remove the clay. I'm sorry, it's been such a long day for me. And then it's just like a cup, like imagine a cup and you put your liquid resin in the cup and you tilt it and you call that um, a slush cast. I call it tilting. <laughs> But it's the same thing. And these chemicals that you use to make these things are quite dangerous if you get them on your skin. As a nursing student, I cannot encourage you enough to follow the directions on the package. It will burn you. Well, I was about 75 to 80% done with the slush ca cast. And I noticed that my arms, they were kind of itchy. But I live in the South, like in the way down south of America. We have mosquitoes, <laughs> mosquitoes, that are like the size of my head. The size of my head. Not really, but you know, they're they're probably that big. They're, they're pretty big and they're called tiger mosquitoes. If you've never gotten bitten by a tiger mosquito, I don't advise it, it's horrible. It feels like you're on fire when they bite you. I just thought that I had gotten bitten by a mosquito. Slush cast was almost finished and my arms were on fire. It just escalated from like a little itch mosquito bite thing to on fire. And by the time the slush cast got hard enough for me to put it down, I was in tremendous pain. And I ran inside thinking that somehow I must have gotten the chemical on my skin, even though it wasn't on my clothing I went through the process that it says on the back of the box that you do when you get the chemical on your skin it didn't help at all y'all nothing helped <laughs> my skin looked like lava and it felt like lava had dripped down the sleeve of my long sleeve shirt it was horrible <laughs> Awful. So being the smartness that I am, I was like, well, I can't leave my mask out here. So I changed my clothes and my gloves thinking that I had just gotten it on those. And I ran back out there to finish my mask and it got worse. And that was the point, like I fully realized I must have developed an allergy to the chemicals in the mask making process. I know your body can just develop allergies all of a sudden it's it's weird knowing this went to my chemical provider which was um smooth on found some different materials some different chemicals to use to make my masks and i was like Phew. okay prices avoided i was able to save my clay sculpt out cast it again and the same thing happened and caused scars there are scars all down both of my arms it, it looks like rabid bees got a hold of my arm. It's terrible. I tried 
everything. Everything I could think of. I bought a stinking hazmat suit. It was literally a hazmat suit with a respirator because it actually started affecting my lungs. Like I made one mask that I actually kept. I sold the rest of them. And I thought that would be okay because it's not the raw chemical. But I got it out the other day to look at it again. And boom. No more fursuit making so I'm so sorry. If you don't want to be subscribed to me anymore, I completely understand because you came here to see that content and I can no longer provide you with that content. But I will be posting, um, if you like game reviews, then I will be posting game reviews and gameplay. I try to post just two videos a week. So I hope y'all have a wonderful evening and y'all come back now, you hear? And this. What? I'm trying to make a video.